Most cameras, like DSLRs, mirrorless cameras, drones and action cams, record footage in 177 to 1, better known as 16x9. It is the most screens and monitors format as well and fits them perfectly. The Academy standard though offers a wider look named 185 to 1. Cinemascope, an older format, was invented for movie theaters and the image is even wider than the Academy standard. Until today many films are being produced in 235 to 1. If you're watching a film that was filmed in an anamorphic format on a normal 16x9 screen or TV, black bars will appear at the top and bottom and give it a special and somewhat cinematic look. Two easy methods let you turn your 16x9 standard footage into anamorphic 235 to 1 or any other format that you like. Letterboxing is the easiest and most commonly used technique to achieve the wider film look. You can either create black bars yourself using Photoshop or you simply download a whole bunch of free templates for different film formats and resolutions from 720p up to 4K from my website. A link is in the video description below. You can basically import the black bars into your final project, put it on top of your composition and align your footage with it. It's that simple. The second method is just as simple as the first one. Open up Adobe Premiere Pro and import your footage. Create a new composition. Right now the composition has the same aspect ratio as the footage imported. Standard 16x9. First open up the sequence drop down menu and next tap at sequence settings. We can now define the frame size by manually entering the width and height. Don't touch the width but bring down the height. As I'm working on a 4K Ultra HD project, our new format is going to be 3840 by 1634, a perfect and cinematic 235 to 1 format. But some calculations need to be done in prior to figure out the correct value for the height. Instead of doing the math yourself, you can look up and download my free cheat sheet that gives you all relevant format sizes for the most important aspect ratios. It is free, you don't have to register and the link is in the video description below as well. No matter what option you like better, letterboxing or resizing your composition yourself, you can upload the final film to YouTube, Vimeo or other platforms. The difference is that you either upload a normal 16x9 film with black bars or a wider film only. The cinematic format has one big pro and one big con in general that you should be aware of. It is pretty hard to get everything important into the wider shot, the space is just more limited and that is the negative perspective. It takes some practice to be able to shoot film in an anamorphic format. You should already on location add some marks to your monitor to get a sense of how the final film is going to look like in the editor. On the other hand side, using a wider format with basic 16x9 footage gives you creative options. You can eliminate areas you don't want to be visible, you can perfectly adjust the height of a clip, this can be pretty useful. And the overall look of 235 to 1 looks really a lot more like film than basic 16x9, it's just amazing. And one last bit of knowledge before we end up this short lesson, do you know what for example 16x9 actually means physically? It means that 16 same sized blocks make the length while 9 same size blocks make the height. The older 4x3 format for example contains out of 4 same size boxes in width and 3 in height. It's actually pretty simple.